Okay, hi everyone. So today let's uh, discuss this interesting problem. So it says a body rotating at uh, 20 radian per second is acted upon by a constant torque, providing it a deceleration of uh, 2 radian per second square. At what time uh, will the body have kinetic energy same as the initial value if the torque continues to act? Fine. So we have a body and uh, a constant torque is acting on it. So its angular acceleration is uh, minus 2 radian per second square. Right, uh, deceleration ka value aapko de rakha hai. So acceleration will be minus 2 radian per second square. Initial angular velocity is also given that is 20 radian per second. We have to find at what time uh, the kinetic energy will again be same. So initial kinetic energy kitna ho jayega? Half of i into omega square. So initial omega is 20. So 20 square. Now aap dekho ki because of this deceleration jo omega hai wo continuously decrease hoga so let me plot the graph so that you can understand it better yahan pe hum plot karte hain omega y axis pe aur x axis pe time so initial omega at time t is equal to 0 pe kitna tha 20 now ye decrease hota jayega is tarah se because of this deceleration ek time aayega jahan pe zero ho jayega right fir agar torque continue rehta hai then iska jo angular velocity hai wo negative direction mein increase hoga negative omega ka matlab kya hai कि जिस डायरेक्शन में इनिशियली रोटेट कर रहा था उसके अपोजिट डायरेक्शन में सो so इस तरह से डाउनवर्ड में ये ग्राफ जाएगा इट मींस जो ओमेगा है वो इंक्रीज करेगा इन द नेगेटिव डायरेक्शन राइट और एक टाइम ऐसा आएगा जहां पे अगेन ओमेगा कितना हो जाएगा -20 सो so उस टाइम पे अगेन काइनेटिक एनर्जी सेम हो जाएगा बिकॉज़ काइनेटिक एनर्जी ओमेगा के स्क्वायर पे डिपेंड करती है सो so 20 का स्क्वायर इज सेम एज -20 का स्क्वायर राइट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द टाइम एट व्हिच the final angular velocity will be minus 20 radian per second. So can you find out? Of course, uh, they go omega final is equal to omega initial plus alpha into t, right? Final omega is minus 20. That is equal to initial omega is 20 plus alpha is minus 2 and time. So from here, you will get the value of time as 20 second. Fine. So I think you have understood. Let me know if you still have any confusion. We can discuss further. Okay, guys, keep working hard. Best of luck. Bye.